Now, government is expecting to spend less than originally planned. The Mahama administration has presented its revised expenditure forecast to Parliament, citing the decline in global oil prices as the reason. Here is Finance Minister Setekwe. Well, now, we'll bring you that later. But my colleague, George Riafe, from our business desk, uh, joins me in the studio. Let's try and understand all of that the finance minister has been saying uh, since yesterday. Thanks for joining us here, George. Thank you. So we are spending less. We are having less revenue as well. Yeah. Tell us more about this revised budget. So that's well, it, it, and help it, us understand what it, he's been it, saying. Well, some would say it's semantic. Some would say that whether it was a revised estimate or not. But for the minister, it was a policy statement to explain to Ghanaians how, as a government, what are they doing to mitigate the impact of rising crude oil prices on government operations. Mm. Some are saying that it was a requirement uh, by the IMF that you have to make this public pronouncement uh, to parliament because the IMF board we hear and some will say all other things being equal, April 3, they are going to meet and consider Ghana's program. And the minister just returned from Washington. Mm. So it was a requirement to make this policy statement to Parliament on A, B, C, D, what you are going to do in terms of your revenue, in terms of your expenditure. Now the minister is saying that because of the about 60% decline in the value of what crude oil last year was being sold around 100 and something, now mm -hmm. it's come down to almost like 60. That 60% 60 drop in the price of crude oil has resulted in us losing almost about $800 million. Now, when you look at the revenue, it's going We're to be losing $800 million. About $800 million. Revenue that would have come in to help government to spend. Mm. When you look at the law that guides petroleum expenditure, part of this money should go to support projects in the budget. Part of that money should go to the Heritage Fund that is saving this money mm. aside for future generations. One is supposed to go into what we call the Stabilization Fund. Mm. The government can draw that money when we see the prices are going up and down to Indeed. cushion us. So, I'm going yeah. to have you go on with that, but let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, Finance Minister mm. Sektepe and then we'll come back to this conversation. Let us learn as Ghanaians to try and manage these situations so that when the prices recover, as we indicated, when petroleum prices were high, and I recall very well in 2011, when we're debating the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, Many questions, why put money aside when you need to develop? But today, as we indicated, the stabilization fund, which was established in only 2011, came up to nearly $600 million, $590 million US dollars, was how much it accumulated over this short period. We have used them to service, some to service debt, and we are going to draw about half now to support the budget. So when prices go down, you know, and you have to trim revenues, you trim some expenditure, and when prices go up or revenues go up, you adjust accordingly, and you save some of the money, just as households or businesses will do. So this is the logic. Because, you know, the management of expenditures, if you like, are going to come from goods and services and capital, particularly the areas that benefit benefited from the ABFA, you know, so those are the, the expenditures. You cannot cut your statutory obligations. So that was Finance Minister Setepe, but uh, George, who is here with me, will break it down for us. What, what was it that he was so talking So he about? was explaining that when it comes to maybe the purchases of goods, mm. services, capital expenditure, let's just say that uh, Ministry of Roads and uh, Roads or Transport, even the rural uh, local government wants to maybe build a seven-seater toilet maybe in your village, mm -hmm. uh, maybe this year. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see that budget for that ministry slashed down. Mm. So possibly that seven-seater uh, public toilet that you're hoping that could be constructed at your village would not come on this mm. year because they are capital expenditure or money that has been set aside for projects is going to be slashed down. Services as well. We hear from the minister that, for instance, travels as well could be slashed down as well in terms mm. of monies that are set aside. And they're going to slash it down about, I think, almost $1.2 billion for this various NDA. So mm -hmm. because if revenues are dipping, and just like any other company, if the revenues, for instance, let's just say Joy FM, we, we make our revenue, or multimedia, multi TV, we make our money from the adverts. If the adverts are, are, are not coming, the money is not coming in, 
we need to cut down expenditure. Mm. We look at where, if for instance, maybe the cameraman mm. there is taking about $2,000 uh, a month, we should look at slashing it down to about 1000 to make room for other Wh projects. Which, so is, that's which the, is what the government is trying to do. That is typically what government is saying. But again, the mm. question is that when you look at the, the overruns, mm -hmm. or in most situations, every country wants to strive for a balanced budget. So I'm raising a thousand Ghana cities. I spent a thousand Ghana cities. Now we are raising about 30 billion Ghana cities in revenue. Mm. We should have spent roughly about 32 billion but, Ghana but, cities. What government even gets this 30 billion cities from revenue if it intends to get it internally mm. when we have uh, this energy crisis taking a toll on all sorts of You're businesses right. here? You're right. Are we looking at really raising the 30 but billion Ghana cities or just far don't, don't forget that this is projections. And therefore, government is hoping that all other things being equal, mm. multimedia will pay their taxes. Uh, maybe another manufacturing firm will make profits and pay their taxes. Mm. Those grants that are going to come from our donor partners will come in. Don't forget, right now, if a factory was operating maybe like 10 plants, they are slashing it down to about 5 or 2. Mm. So in terms of producing more to make money to pay taxes, there might be a slight dip in that company's profit in order to pay those taxes. Now, a company is asking me to go home. Don't forget that when I earn my money, I pay taxes on that money to government. Mm -hmm. So if I'm no longer working, where is government going to get that tax or revenue to fund the expenditure for this year? So those are the real challenges for government. But some are saying that, well, it, let's be, it, it let's, seems really let's be tricky for government. Quite a tough time, if, mm. if, if that would be an understatement. Quite a tough time going forward. The hope is that an IMF program will come on board. It would help revive or address the lack of confidence in our economy. Those offshore investors who are not bringing in their hard currency will bring in. I remember there was a company, a mining firm, that wanted mm. to expand. They go out to engage investors to bring in money. They were having problems. Don't forget, when these hard currencies come into the economy, it has implications for boosting the reserves of mm. the commercial banks as well as the Bank of Ghana. More dollars is available so our city will not be depreciating. So it is quite a challenging time going forward. Mm. Whether that 30 billion that government is even projecting Ooh. will come to but pass let's just at say, the end of the day. Let's just say again, all mm. other things being equal, right. we get our 30 That's what billion the dollars. Will say. Yeah. We get our 30 billion Ghana cities. We, we ex we're expecting to spend 40 billion You're Ghana right. cities. We have a deficit of 10 billion You're Ghana right. cities. But what you know uh, from experience and following this issue closely, how do you think we're going to fund the 30 billion cities? It's difficult. The, the 10 billion, right? It's now. difficult. But again, don't forget that we are projecting that IMF will bring in about $940 million over the next three years. Government is going to go out and raise one billion dollars from investors out there through the euro bond. Now, the IMF money wouldn't necessarily come and put money on your table that take, but mm -hmm. rather more of your balance of payment support. So, if government, for instance, had 940 million dollars somewhere, that would free the space to mm -hmm. use that money to go ahead and construct that road, mm -hmm. to use that money to pay that auntie of yours that work at Ministry of Local Government. Do you see the government borrowing to make up for I think, that? I think that more, because the, but the finance minister in his presentation said that we're doing more of international borrowings. Mm -hmm. Now, the critical factor here is that it will free the space for local, local. firms to go to the commercial banks I, I to borrow. I think it's been a long time coming that mm -hmm. a government would leave the local borrowing market. That, that's something that you yeah. and I have always been asking for. Yeah. So the companies who are even struggling now, don't forget about the cost of credit. We have been talking about access to credit companies who are credit worthy walk into banks and the bank could tell them i prefer giving that money to government because treasury bills the rates are quite high and government you know when they say i buy in the worker mm -hmm. they will pay you mm -hmm. indeed indeed now let, let's look at uh the, the, the fact that this could indeed have effects on you mm -hmm. and i and perhaps you watching at home as well mm -hmm. What are we looking at here? The mi mitigating me measures the, the government has put in place to try and uh, make the economy better. How, how is it going to affect us? When you listen to the finance minister, he made a statement that, yes, we are going to cut, but social spending would not be affected. Mm. Again, how is that social policy being targeted to ensure that it affects those who actually need it? We understand the IMF has endorsed government's LEAP program, and apparently the World Bank and other donor partners are going to support it. When it comes to fuel subsidy, whether there's a subsidy at all, that's another argument altogether. But again, that extra money that government is going to get, 
are they going to pump into areas that would again cushion you mm -hmm. and I? That's where the challenge is. Going forward, looking through the crystal ball, tough times ahead. Indeed. You, you, you see more demonstrations with labor and all that. that, 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 that that's difficult, but obviously, uh, if government is also proactive and try to let labor appreciate the challenges that government is going through, maybe they won't end up on the street. Don't forget that when we spoke to the Secretary General of TUC, mm. they've backtracked on their opposition to the IMF program. Their argument is that we don't think there should be any massive layoffs. So let's see how the engagement goes. Maybe the jaw join, yes, we'll more of the boardroom talk, then. and letting, just like you have, a, you have a kid who is in school. Mm -hmm. I want conflicts, I want that, I want that. If the child comes to appreciate that, you don't have a lot of money to give you all your access. Maybe I was suffering my demand. I, 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 I'm eager to, to find out in the future how the government draws the line between our wants and our needs. I guess we'll just have to follow well, this well, closely. You, you, yeah, you look at the expenditure and the biggest uh, bill on the expenditure mm. is wage bill. Mm. So if this restructuring that you're doing the public sector in terms of the payroll Weeding out the ghost names, the ghost bastards seems not to be doing the job for us. You understand me? <laughs> Maybe government would then be able to cut down on that expenditure mm. going forward, mm. and then the money will be available for other critical areas. Indeed. Thank you very much, George. George, we are faced with our business desk here at George.